Some major developments in sports news this morning. The NFL has approved the sale of the Washington Commanders for a record $6 billion to a group led by Josh Harris. The sale comes as former owner Dan Snyder has been at the center of several investigations and controversy. Attorney Michael Epner joins us now to talk more about this groundbreaking sale and what it means for the NFL. Uh, good morning, Mitchell, pardon me. Um, let's, let's talk about the, the deal here. Is this a good thing for the commanders? Is this a fresh start that they needed at the right time? So um, thank you for having me on again, Marnie. And, um, this is well let's start with this is financially a great deal for dan snyder he bought this team for under a billion dollars he is essentially if you assume he made no money from the team he is essentially walking away with 200 million dollars for each year that he owned the team it's also a very good thing i believe for the nfl and for the washington area because dan snyder um, had made himself into the pantheon of truly hated owners. And lots of Washington Commanders fans loved the team despite their owner, and that's a bad situation. And $60 million for him, given how much money he's making off of this deal, is a drop in the bucket. Is it also a slap on the wrist from the NFL? So it, it is. There is. I often tell my clients that if you have all the money in the world, in which Dan Snyder now does, um, the one thing you want to avoid is doing anything that threatens to put you in jail, because that's the one place where the money will do you absolutely no good. And the bigger thing from the NFL than the $60 million fine is the actual report from a former U.S. Attorney Mary Jo White uh, from the Debevoise and Plimpton firm, which lays out in detail um, as a summary um, that he was defrauding his NFL partners. And that is something that could lead to further legal problems for Dan Snyder, including potential criminal problems. Right. So we're talking about alleged financial crimes, possible charges for conspiracy, racketeering, bank and wire fraud. How do you expect now that he's out for the commanders, um, he and his legal team will be responding to some of these latest criminal investigations? Well, the biggest problem that they have is that he and his team are no longer going to be in charge of the books and records of the Washington commanders. And one of the findings in the Mary Jo White report was that Dan Snyder obstructed their investigation. I would expect that the new regime would be only too happy to cooperate with whoever wants to come in and investigate Dan Snyder. So um, there is a real possibility under either Virginia or Maryland law, neither of which has a statute of limitations for these types of felonies, that he could face criminal exposure. And that could be very serious. And is the NFL off the hook here? Is there any culpability on their part? So the NFL, with regard to the financial fraud, will be treated as the victim, not the perpetrator, because what allegedly was happening and what um, uh, Mary Jo White found happened was that he was hiding revenues from his partners that should have been shared with the owners of the other teams. Um, so with regard to that, the NFL is not facing any sort of liability. In the court of public opinion, they do have a problem, and I think they're hoping that they can turn the page on this problem in the same way that the NBA was able to turn the page on Donald Sterling, who was exposed as being a horrible racist when they forced him to sell the team to Steve Ballmer in 2014. So in this situation, maybe a fresh beginning for the commanders, but also the start of a lot of legal problems uh, for Snyder. Uh, Mitch Epner, thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.